I was coming because you were on the counter. Okay. Well, funny story. Okay. Um, it's about my height, so you're going to love it. Love it. Love it. Alrighty. <laughs> um, okay, first off, Cam was like, do you need somebody tall? I heard that. That's why I switched lenses and I was coming to get... So I'm talking to uh, Blush Bridal's um, wedding consultant for the dress, yes? Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, she's just getting basic information of what I like mm -hmm. in a dress. Mm -hmm. And the conversation was almost over. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, I, was like, I was like, do I need to bring anything? And she goes, no, no. She goes, wait, how tall are you? And I'm like, Five, two and a half, and she goes, Oh, you little thing. <laughs> <laughs> How unprofessional is that? You might need to bring heels because the dresses won't fit you. Oh, we're not even tall enough to get married. That's crazy. <laughs> Whatever. Jeez. You're going to be this tall to get married? <laughs> <laughs> That's sad. You can't even be a princess in your own life. <laughs> What'd you do for your mom today? Close my eyes, yeah. but then I won't be able to see. Okay, but I'll say when I'm at the side, go. Okay. Come on, follow me. <gasps> you cleaned it! Sort of. She uh, rearranged it. Yeah, but I cleaned it in here! Like, I put all this stuff right here because... I have nowhere to put it. We could just put it outside. No! What? I need, I need everything in my room. I think we should get rid of some stuff. I mean, do you play with all of these toys? Every single one? Every single one? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. You play with this naked baby? I've been thinking about um, I don't know for a while <clears throat> there's a, a guy that used to do what I'm doing that like came before you know and really took this to a different level if you're a YouTube addict like myself you know who Casey Neistat is if not you should look him up uh, he's a filmmaker and he used to do this he don't do this anymore but I was thinking, you know, I live in the middle of nowhere and I'm doing this every day. Casey lives in New York, or used to, he lives in LA now. And it just, the thing that I get the kick out of the most doing this every day is that I'm forcing myself to be creative and kind of create something out of nothing because, well, I mean, I'm in a trailer park in Ohio right now. And one thing that Casey said, maybe not often, but said, was that <clears throat> he could walk out his door at uh, 368 Broadway in New York, New York, and it was just, he was on a movie set. New York City is probably one of the most photogenic cities, and I don't have that luxury. It's pretty here. But there is a, there is an element of this where I do have to think a little bit more about things that he didn't have to think about, because if I don't put thought into this, it's just gonna fall flat every day, and that sucks. So it's not just about what I say, like interfacing with the camera like this or finding unique spots. Like if I drove through New York, I would see and recognize Casey's favorite spots because he went there often. 
and told us often, told our, his audience often that these were his favorite spots in the city, but it made me think being forced to iterate like this, if you're in a spot like this, you could be better than Casey. If you got it, you know? You know, if uh, if you're forced to do this in, a, in, a, in an environment that's not inherently lending itself to just beauty, even though Ohio is a beautiful state and uh, this uh, sunset that I'm about to try to get is beautiful, you gotta think about where you're at. And if you're out there every day trying to iterate and you're out there every day trying to hone your craft and you're in it and you're in it every day and you're really paying attention to that, you could be the best. You could be the next best. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> I've been thinking about Casey, but then when I uh, took my break, came back and uh, it was my uncle, someone said uh, that they hope to contribute they hope to contribute to the art form in the future. You should. If you think you should, you should. Because anybody who puts their head in the game and keeps it there could be the next best. Mm -hmm.